gentlemen, boys, girls, people of all ages, how are you guys doing? My name is Blocks, and welcome back to our Beast Nodes to Server tutorial. And today, we are actually going to take a look into our Minecraft world. That is right, we are going to begin our journey into Minecraft and show you guys exactly what we're going to be doing on the server side. I know in our last couple videos we showed you the back workings of how the server began and all of that, but today we are going to do something a little bit special and actually go with the server. So today we're going to be showing you guys how to protect your server, protect your your spawn, all of that, all the fun stuff of that. So first thing you're going to need to do is, as always, if you have not already, in the link down in the description there will be Beast Node. Um, there. You're going to need to go to your plugins that I recently showed you in two videos ago. And I will put that down in the description so you guys can watch and see how to do that again. But you are going to need to have World Edit and World Guard. So, those can easily be done. And you just follow the link down in the description, go into the, the, your server. And from there, we will begin. So, let's head on over to our multiplayer. And then we have my server. So as you can see, I just gave it the basic name. Um, as I know, as you, some of you know right now, it's just a basic server that some friends and I play on. But it's, you shall be hunted like a boar by wild dogs. That is what I've named it. It's nothing special, but we have actually, what I'm going to show you guys, I built a little spawn for a little demonstration. So as you can see, this is my spawn. Um... It is literally nothing special. I do not want you guys to be like, wow, you are the worst builder in the history. I literally needed something fast just to show you guys in this video. And in underneath the world, I placed some torches to kind of prevent mobs from coming in and spawning. I know there's mobs here, but I actually just tried to get rid of them at all possible. But I'm actually going to show you guys today how to get rid of mods. Um... And a variety of other things so this is our spawn like I just said and so first thing you're gonna need to do is do slash slash wand so after you have world edit and world guard type slash slash wand to obtain your weapon of choice this is the weapon a wood axe that we are gonna be doing a lot of playing around with this is going to be exactly what we need so today we need to set up our region so we're gonna make this our spawn region and for the objective of my server right now it's called it's a PvP so I want players to be able to jump off not get hurt not destroy anything at spawn as well as not PvP till outside of a boundary limit Okay, so hopefully if you get all of that, we need to set up a region with those details. So first thing you're going to want to do is, I'm going to go over here, and just somewhere randomly over here. So we're going to go about right, let's match it up a little bit. So right here and here, we'll go there. And you're going to left click, so that it sets up the first position. So as you can see, it sets up this coordinates right to this block. And then... We're going to fly on over to the other side because we want this to be a box that players cannot attack in. And we want to go to roughly about here. Okay, so now once we're here, we're going to type slash up space one. So now it prevents, it places this little block of glass for us. And we're going to right click that and it sets the second position. So now we have a first position over there and a second position over here. So this makes a box around this area. Now right now, we don't have anything set. So the first thing you're going to want to do to protect it so players cannot attack at all, you're going to go slash slash expand vert. Now as you can see, the region expanded. Um, 572,400 blocks up top to bottom. So that's all the way up to the sky and all the way down to bedlo bedrock. So no player right now can destroy in this box that we've created. 
and no one can destroy above and no one can destroy below. A player can do it, destroy over here, but a player cannot destroy in here. So that protects your spawn. So no player can destroy or build or, or anything in this region. So now we actually need to define this region. So we're going to go slash region define and then you're going to name it whatever you want. So for this situation, we're going to name it spawn because we're making this our spawn protection. So we type slash region define spawn. And now it says this region is now protected from modifications from others. Don't know what that is? Slash region flag spawn pass through allow. Okay? So that makes this allows other people to destroy, but we do not want that. So a new region has been made named spawn. So this is exactly what we wanted. And now we can delete this block so that you don't just randomly have a glass block up in the sky. And now all of this is protected. So no player can come in here and destroy any of this. Okay, so that's a big good thing. So next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna type in slash region flag the name of the region, so in this situation spawn, and then we're gonna type in a bunch of letters. So now it says unknown flag specifics. So we wanted to just show you guys all of the possible, so you don't actually have to do that last command, but this is just to show all of the commands that are options. So for example, um, pass through, build, construct, PVP, TNT, light, farewell, notify, seed, feed, minigame, or not minigame, sorry, blocks, mob spawning, deny, the usual. So, once we have a list, now you guys can decide what you want. So, for instance, if you wanted a player to access a chest in a certain area, you could type slash allow chests, or uh, where is it? Slash, you would type, okay, I'll show you in just a sec, but you would type, so here items can drop, and at the moment they can drop. So if you wanted item slash drop or item dash drop, you type region flag the spawn name and I'll show you guys. So we'll give an example. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to protect from PVP. So that means no player in this box can PVP at all. Okay. So we're going to type slash region flag the region name spawn and then PVP space deny. So now it says currently flags PVP deny. So that means no one allowed in the box that we created earlier is allowed to PVP at all. So that's a good thing if you don't want. So that means once a player spawns right here, they cannot be attacked. Or when they jump off right here, they cannot be attacked. But as soon as they get to about here, they can start to be attacked. So that is a good and bad thing. So the next thing you're going to want to do is we're going to try and go slash we don't want mobs to spawn because mobs are a pain and we don't want anything in here that's gonna cause our players to have TNT for example creepers to blow up this area and make it look like a blown up wasteland so we're gonna type slash region flag the spawn name mob space spawning I mean mob dash spawning deny so now that allows mob spawning to not be allowed to spawn here so no mob is allowed to spawn in this area now there's a couple more that I want to do so right now we want creeper explosion so that allows creepers to blow up so if someone brought a creeper in here it would not blow up so for instance if it was following someone and came into this area it would not blown up so we're gonna type slash region flag the spawn creeper explosion deny perfect so now creepers will not explode in this area or if they do explode it will not harm the land so now once we've got all of those there's actually one more so a basic player right now would jump off here and fall and die and we do not want this so 
if you have a floating island and you don't want a player to get hurt as they fall, you can type slash region, flag, and then invincible. Invincible allow. Oh, not allow. Sorry. Slash region, flag, spawn, invince. Oh, where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, invent. There we go. Invince. Sybil. Okay, so now this region flag invincible removed from spawn. So we don't want that. So we want region flag invincible except, I believe. Oh, nope. You found the re no region could be found with the name of invincible. Oh, oh, that's what. Okay, sorry, we forgot to region flag spawn invincible allow. Okay, perfect. So now, in we forgot to type the spawn. So now, once a player is here and they fall off, they will no longer be hurt. And that also allows. So if a zombie decided to walk into this land from out there. It would not harm your players and your players cannot harm each other so that also is another way to prevent from PvP so there are two ways so this invincible practically makes them God mode only in this area so they cannot fly the only thing they do is they don't lose hunger they lo don't lose health and they cannot be attacked so that makes that a lot easier so now we have a couple more that we want to try and mess around with. So most of these are actually already made and already allowed. But we are going to try and do, uh, where is it? Notify, leave. Um, slash, I believe it's, is it greeting? Let's see if I can find it. I know it's probably like looking at me right in the face, but I wanted to try slash greeting. No, notify. Oh, okay. Slash. Okay. So we're going to try and do. So right now, players cannot tell when they are safe and when they are not. So we're going to set it up that says you are in spawn and you are safe or you are leaving spawn and be careful. So we're going to go slash region flag spawn. Um, greeting, welcome to spawn. You are safe. So now when you walk into, so we're out here now, as you can see, and as soon as you walk into spawn, it says, welcome to spawn. You are safe. So that means anything in this box, when they walk in, they are instantly safe. They will not, they will be invincible. Now we want to make it so when they leave, they are also known. So we type slash region flag spawn farewell. And we say you are leaving spawn. Be careful. Perfect. So now when we leave this area, oh, someone joined. So when we leave this area, it says you are leaving spawn. Be careful. Perfect. So now our spawn is all set up with everything that we need for it to be a perfect spawn. So now we have most of these. We have now, for instance, right now, I like the weather to take over my spawn. So as you can see, there's little patches of snow here because it snows on the ground. And so I wanted it to kind of blend in. But for instance, if you didn't want the weather to take, you would just type in slash spawn. I mean, slash region space flag space spawn space snow dash falling deny or snow melting or all of this. These are all just plenty of examples if you want. Now, if you as the admin want to know when a player leaves a certain area or comes to a certain area, you can type the notify leave or notify enter. Um, those are both ways to uh, tell you guys 
what areas are in or what players have come into a area or what have players have left. Uh, if you want to sell different areas, so for instance, if you wanted to make region for a certain player and you're playing with essentials and economy, you can sell a region. So you can put slash re um, allow shops or allow um, buyable. So that means players can buy it. Then there is also um, price, so you can set the price on how much a region is for protection. So if you wanted a protection area, you'd have to pay so much money. So those are all just different ways to have your server protected. So I hope that this has helped you tremendously. It has helped me. I now have a safe spawn, which is actually really nice. So that is one thing that many players that is one thing many guys try to destroy is your spawn and so this kind of makes it a safe way you don't necessarily have to do lighting like I did it just kind of makes it look nice and it shows that I kind of put this lighting roughly inside of the box so if you go outside of the lighting it tells you you are in a danger zone I also put lighting over here just because it was underneath a mountain and I really just didn't want mobs to spawn here and then end up walking over here so those are both interesting ways on how this works and I hope that this helped as much as possible if this did please do me a favor click that like button if you are brand new and you managed to stumble upon this video and it has helped you tremendously do me a flavor a flavor do me a flavor and kick the click that like button and that subscribe button I hope that if you have any other plugins or stuff that you need help with to please comment down in the description below I actually, in the next episode, will be showing you guys how to protect and roll back certain areas of a spawn or not spawn. So if someone destroys a certain area, I'm going to be showing you guys how to see who did it and see how to roll it back and a couple other just basic server properties and functions that you guys need for your protection of your server. So... Hopefully this all works out, and please, once again, click that like button, subscribe, and as always, please, don't forget to wash your hands. Bye now.